In today's lecture, we're going to talk about one of the most misunderstood and misrepresented self-defense tools on the market, the stun gun. As you already know, the stun gun has a lot of history behind it. Much like the cattle prod from the 50s and 60s, the stun gun also utilizes electric shocks to deter criminal activity. First of all, compared to its counterpart, the taser, the stun gun is a direct contact device which means you have to be in direct contact in order to use it. You have to put the device directly on the assailant's skin in order for it to work. The reason that it's effective and not dangerous or deadly is because it uses high voltage and low amperage in order to disable an attacker temporarily. We'll discuss later the importance of voltage versus amperage and how it affects the human body as well as misconceptions from the industry on stun guns. The stun gun is a pain compliance tool, meaning that it will cause pain but it will not lock up the body like a taser device will. You can liken it to a static shock or a shock from static electricity. It's painful, although with a stun gun it's much more painful, but it's not going to incapacitate you or knock you out or uh, lock up your body. The two prongs on the front of the device is where the electricity arcs. They arc between those two points in order for the stun gun to work or emit the electricity. This is the internal circuitry of a stun gun. As you can see on the right hand side, we have your traditional 9 volt battery stun gun. The compartment at the bottom of the gun is for the 9 volt battery. The circuitry throughout the device is you have your voltage amplifier circuit which regulates how quickly the electricity goes through the device and into the target out of the prongs. The trigger connects directly to the amplifier circuit and on the front end of the device you have the application electrodes and the test electrodes or positive and negative which allows for the arc to be sparked across the two points. Overall that's how the stun gun works and how it looks on the inside and the outside. You're going to learn that there are a lot of things that are different from what you may already know about stun guns. Unless of course you're an electrician in which case you probably don't need to be really informed on this. But that's all for this lecture. In the next lecture we'll go over the physiological effects that stun guns have on the mind and the body.